What's up guys? Uh, very short video about how to open Inokim OX rear hub motor. A few of you asked and I've decided to do a short video about it. Let's do it. As you can see, we have the Inokim on the right side. And all you need to do, as you can see right here, there's, there were bolts. I just unscrewed them. How did I do that without remove everything? This is Allen number four. The thing is, it, it was a bit harder to me because the head of this Allen is flat. If you get a round head and push it firmly in through the holes of the rotor, as you can see, I can easily reach the bolt. But be careful, it's an angle, it's not a straight fit. So you need to push very firmly and twist it very slowly and see how it goes. To, and be careful not to strip the head of the Allen, of the Allen bolt. Now there's a few places such as here, the angle is bigger, but still possible. Here, different angle, but still possible. So if you're, if you're afraid to do that, the solution would be to open the, open the deck, remove the cable, move the cable through the hole, in the side arm uh, and then remove the motor completely remove the rotor after it it's a lot of work so I kind of found this um, this shortcut and it worked flawlessly to for me for the last five pieces of these and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep doing that it seems fine I never stripped a single bolt so it's okay for me I think you can do that too now the tricky part is to remove the motor now be careful it's magnets it's very strong magnets there and if your hands will slip uh, in a way somehow if you manage to put your fingers right in between the cap and the motor itself the magnet will chop your fingers off i promise you that be very careful with that now let's see if i can do this by putting the camera right here all i do is I secure the, uh, secure the scooter in place and I apply pressure on the wheel from up, from up downwards, all right? Very easy, very easy. As you can see, we're halfway in. Now, I told you about the fingers parts. Look at that. You see, it goes back because of the magnet power. So be careful. Again, pushing in down and uh, I'm completely secure the tire and the wheel and the rim. So I have nothing to worry about anymore. I just grab the scooter and I pull it up. That's it. Now there is nothing, nothing uh, more dangerous than that. Uh, yeah, so about the thing is, this is a brand new scooter of my friend. Now check this out. This scooter, I think uh, something like two months old. Check this rust, check this corrosion. This is nuts. It's a new motor, a new scooter. I was, at first I was thinking this appears after a few rides in the rain or uh, bad weather or just puddles. But apparently it comes like that from the damn factory. So it'd be very, very smart to uh, seal it with grease the moment you get the freaking scooter just like the first or the second day of your of you having this scooter to protect the motor because this won't be covered under warranty apparently and their motors are pretty expensive so yeah that's it guys ah oh yeah let me show you how do i do that very very simple here i have a grease just a high temperature grease we don't even need high temperature grease because this motor will reach uh, 50, uh, 50, um, self, god damn, what's wrong with me? This motor will reach 50 degrees of Celsius. Here we go. Uh, and we don't need a uh, special grease for that. Now what I do is I take some and I put it just on the edge of the rim. You don't need to be afraid if it touches anything else because we can cl clean it afterwards. I just make sure there's a beefy and nice uh, layer of grease to prevent the water from getting in. 
and I did that on my own motor almost a year ago and ever since I was riding in every heavy rain we had here this winter and we have we had some heavy rains and guess what nothing happened to the motor it was like brand new well of course I had some little corrosion that came from the factory but it didn't spread uh, it didn't spread any further just stopped there because I've added the grease as you can see we're almost done and here we go all right that seems fine to me now all i'm gonna do is gonna clean up uh some excessive uh, some extra grease like right this one and uh, that's it when i'm gonna close the lid on top of it some some of the grease will will squeeze out a bit it's not nothing unusual just clean it up and you're good to go also i'm adding a bit just uh, just for a bonus a bit on the on the bearings and of course from the other side we have the cap here just just a little bit just if the water decides to hop in there it's gonna be uh, it's gonna have a very hard time staying there all right guys, that's it, that's it. That's all I had to do. And this is the ultimate solution that will save you a lot of money. And you'll be able, what the heck was that? Something blew up. Holy moly. <laughs> My silicon gun just popped. It has a bad smell, it was funny. Anyway, so yeah, do that. Doesn't matter where do you live, doesn't matter what weather. If I, I'm pretty sure even like uh, humidity will eventually uh, do some damage to this controller without uh, grease uh, inside of it. All right guys, see you next time.